so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. He is undefeated. He is one of the best. Oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. All right, didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. You know, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass to half or eventually get the full guard. Full mount, sorry. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Figueredo. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Going for a submission now or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. What a tight arm bar. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, nice. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Figueredo's back in full guard now. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in color. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Some spacing as they exit the clinch. Nice deceptive level change to get the takedown. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Neil Billy, he's laying it down, ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's gonna get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Straight punch, useful. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. All right, late round action here in Khabib Nurmagomedov, as usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponent. He is a bear on top, and I'm saying that literally. And tonight, he is showing that his strength is on another level. His opponent looks lost. He passed the half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, right into side control here. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he was going to the Oh, he got out. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit. As it starts to feel more comfortable, try to get the big shots off. 
everything he throws with absolute power. From his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression. Right. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh, yes, the single collar tie now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken down back to the mat again. Here we are, early round two. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got it on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Cal. And with a throw, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like what submission is going to be? Oh, I think he's going for an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across to secure it with his head. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Connects with a beautiful jab. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Nurmagomedov's in half court. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Under two minutes to go in the round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, massive kick lands flush. 
Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're, oh, nice headlock. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. That guillotine is tight. This has got to be the end of the fight. Oh, he got, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward, then off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Figueroa. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Figueredo's back in full mount. Final seconds here of round two. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. Uh, they appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you Ready see two high-level grapplers Ready. going after it. it. One guy gets the advantage, the other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Good work here to the body on the ground by Nermago Meadow. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Straight right, he misses. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. That was a slick transition. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nervago Medov. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Great body kick there. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Figueredo. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Another big thing. He passes the half. Now he's going 
full mount. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Nermago Metal. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Anybody kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Mm, that was nice. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmago Medov gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Side control now. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. No, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. A strong hook to the head there by the battle man. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Oh, that one landed, yep. to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Final seconds of round four. Another takedown land. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. That was a level change, yes. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nermago Medov's back in half guard. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Figueroa. Oh, big elbow from top position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And that one certainly found the target. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Nice jab. The takedown is not there. Hook in the clinch there by Figueroa. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. He passes to half guard. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Nicely done. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands 
bypass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out. Oh, he's going to submit it. Oh, he escaped. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Ooh. Collar tie here in the clinch. Nurmagomedov gets hit with that overhand. Ninety seconds to go now. Hook to the head there by Nurmagomedov. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. He knew that he would have to defend multiple takedowns. To this point, he has done that. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. The fighters separate. Another big takedown. having his way with him here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice shots landing from the top position. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his tank and try to finish his technique. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, he's got his back. 20 seconds to go. Right, take his back, take his back. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. He's got a fight on his hands now. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Oh. Outstanding oh. round. Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. Takedown. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? You ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Nice change up on the double leg is good. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, right into Mount. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Straight right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Nurmagomedov. He 
he gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. That kick is good by Fiorello. Nice job by him defensively there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Watch knees to the body. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Figueredo. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, good knees tearing into that midsection. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively. He's hooked now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Jab. Very active with the left hand. Beautiful punch. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. Problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single power. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the left. the team. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, nice body shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Keep Get it, jump. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Nurmagomedov gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow there doing the damage. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. All he's got to do now is get his hips into the back of the elbow to get the finish. Oh, so how about that? The offensive what fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib all right, so judges scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to...